So I'm really into mustaches. I think I developed my mustache obsession like from a young age. So my dad had, like for as long as I can remember until I was like a teenager, my dad had a mustache. So when I found out that the Gateway and Zest were having a competition to see who grow the best mustache, like from October 31st, I started my research. I looked at pictures from last year to make sure, like see how to compare last year to this year. So this is my research from last year. Um, as you can see, I think this is from just like one weekend last year. You can already see that Ryan's developed a really good one right here. Really good color. Actually, Ross, look at that color. Really good. Oh, Darcy, that's veering a bit creepy. Oh no, I thought, I was like, meh. I don't know if we'll win. The mustaches don't look that great, but we saw Dustin's and he had to draw his on. Uh, I have no idea what I have going on. It's partially drawn on with Expo marker. I'm not a huge fan of the mustache. What? I feel like it gets in the way of, of what needs to happen between the nose and the upper lip. What that is, I have no what idea. But like breathing, I feel like it would impair your breathing functions. I feel that, like it would make eating sexual acts awkward. <laughs> Sorry, Dustin, just doesn't, just doesn't work for me. I really would like to grow mutton chops. I think I could do a pretty what good job. Like yeah, yeah, oh, totally. Could you ever get things like no, I think that's a little trashy. I think I'd want to, I want to go more like um, upper class English gentleman from the 18th or 19th century. I don't know, like solidify his presence as editor in chief. Like, you know, like saying, like, you're an editor in chief unless you have mutton chops. I think you can probably tell why I would not grow facial hair because it looks like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, I don't know. I, uh, I'm, I'm a guy, like, I don't wear watches, don't have any tattoos, I like to be really clean. And uh, every time I look in the mirror, honestly, like, just makes, makes me want to cry. I wish I could, I wish Movember were, like, a year long, and then I could grow it down to here, and then braid it. But I have this one gray hair sticking out, like, right there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's there, and it's incredible. Yeah, so Ross's mustache, um, I thought was quite impressive. It had a really good color, like consistency. Um, it looked like that was straight off, like a Just For Men advertisement. Like the soul patch, like, such, such soul. Andrew's mustache, I found, <laughs> sorry Andrew, but, like pretty, pretty disappointing. Disappointing. <laughs> Crap. Um, because normally Andrew has a really full beard if no one's ever seen that before. Have you heard the news today? Jesus loves you. Um, but the mustache was like veering, like not quite pedophile, but kind of like veering on the side of like, I don't know, like side street creeper. <laughs> Wait, when I read, I can be like this. I can like think, I'm like, hmm. And I can like pick at it, it's super curly. <laughs> Petros, his, um, he actually was the only one that invited me to touch it. Don't be scared. It's so, <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so, it's so curly. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> See? <laughs> Sadiq's was the best. I mean, if you look at all of them, he has like, like the color. Like, he, I think his is the only real like full-fledged mustache. Mustaches can be, can be great and powerful. And I think people need to, to recognize that. First mustache, uh, Dustin Chellin. I should mustache I'm not. <laughs> Someone deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars for a mustache ride. This is awkward. Can we stop now? I've got a mustache. I've got a mustache. I've got a mustache because my car. My brother's mustache? It's like. Imagine you're like standing like in Saskatchewan and there's like three very tall like saplings that are just like swaying in the wind. Like Saskatchewan is his face. <laughs>